Okay, this is the motherboard of this HP. Okay, uh, it's not coming on. I just open it. You have to open the laptop, everything, remove the motherboard. Okay, there's so many things can make a uh, laptop not to turn on. Okay, sometimes it might be some IC problem. Sometimes it might be uh, the battery is not charged, charging system problem. Sometimes it might be capacitor diode problem. Okay, but sometimes it's even good to when after you open the motherboard, you have to look the motherboard properly. By looking the laptop properly, look the motherboard properly, you can find out the problem very fast with your eyes if you're a very good technician. Okay, but sometimes you need to connect the charger and feel the board and see where it's getting hot. So you can know which area is getting hot from that place. You can know oh, there's something burned from that side. You can see. Okay. For my own side, I already watched the board properly. I already see the problem. Okay. So now I just need to use the meter to read because the motherboard already short. Okay. I just use uh, this one, put on any negative side. Try to find out the problem. Okay. Okay. The first thing you have to do, you have to read all the capacitors. This brown brown things are all capacitors. Okay, this this one, the two side, one leg and one leg here. They're, they're supposed to read one side is supposed to read negative, another side get read positive. So that all the two sides are supposed to read like negative. Okay, if all the two sides read like negative, that means they're short on the board already, on that side. Okay, checking all these capacitors first is more important. Okay. Okay, then check this one. As you can see, this capacitor is reading, the two cells is reading like fuse. That means this side already short, okay? But it's very easy. That's why I'm saying the first, you need to watch the motherboard perfectly. By that, you can see the problem, okay? By watching this motherboard right now, Okay, even I already see the problem. You can see the, the, the plastic already bent. You see, plastic already bent close to this uh, capacitor. This will show you that this capacitor, already, this uh, capacitor already bent. Okay, so that will show that the capacitor already bent because you see, even when by watching it perfect, perfectly, you see that the burn already this side. You should you have to change this one. Okay, that's why it's not coming. There's so many things can make laptop not to turn, just like I said the first time. Okay, so now I'm going to remove this capacitor and try to see if there's any shot around this side again. Okay, now I need to remove this capacitor and read the side again, see if there's any shot there. Okay, take out this plastic first. So the blow will not bend this plastic. Take out, put it one side and remove this. I remove the capacitor and see. As you can see, you see, it's two capacitors there. You see, as you can see, you already see like you already damage. You see, you see the damage on it. So this one can cause the laptop not to on because already short. So I'm going to remove it, okay? So you have, have to put a bit oil. Use the blower. Remove the capacitor. I remove this one. Put the one side. And read the read the motherboard. Read that side again and see if there's any short there. As you can see, there's no shot there again. You see, now it's getting very nice. This will show you that this keypad is already bent. That's why it's, uh, the mother laptop already shot. Okay, now I'm going to read the, this. Uh, this is a capacitor, very tiny, very small. Okay, already shot, I see. You can already shot, that's why the laptop is not coming. So I'm going to get this one from another, another, another motherboard and replace it, then the laptop will okay. Okay, now it's time to fix the capacitor. Okay, this kind of part you cannot get it in the shop itself. You need to get some scrap motherboard to get those parts from. Okay, for so many, I'm fixing it. Already fixed. 
then we need to clean it a bit remove the oil okay and you read again and see if there's any shots on that side as you can see no shots again one side is really negative and the other side is really positive okay now i'm going to fix everything and test on the laptop for you guys to see okay now i fix the motherboard inside the laptop very nice fix everything very nice okay then i connect the charger okay connect the charger inside now as you can see the charger is uh, charging now you can see the red light okay i'm going to on the laptop open the laptop a bit on it from the side okay as you can see the laptop already on now okay i watch the screen as you can see the hp logo already show that means the laptop is coming on now okay everything is okay that means okay hello guys if you like my video please subscribe to my youtube channel